Hey everyone, Steph here. I'm the Secret Slob and we are in the middle of a huge spring clean, deep clean. So I know a lot of people are stuck at home right now. This is a perfect opportunity to, you know, not overwhelm yourself with huge jobs, but just get in the habit of doing 15 minutes a day of deep cleaning in your house so that your house is able to stay nice and normal without having to overwhelm yourself with a massive spring clean, which you may have done in the past and that's okay, but I know when I did those kinds of things, I just did them every year and then my house wouldn't get cleaned all year. Today we're finishing up in zone three, which for me is my bathroom. So I'm gonna finish up my master bathroom and hopefully get my kids bathroom done, but we'll see, I'm gonna hustle hard and try and get it done. So zone three, see what you can get done. This is the last day, just go for it. 15 minutes only. All right, so first things first, I've got to clean the outside of the toilet. I don't know why I forgot this one yesterday, but getting it done now, and I'm wearing my tutu, and I'm telling you, it definitely makes the job a lot more fun. My tutu didn't exactly fit over my hips as it was made for a two-year-old, but I figured just tucking it into the back of my pants would give me the same energy, and I'm feeling pretty good. So the first thing I do is dry mop my whole bathroom floor. I love using my dry mop. It's just a flat mop with a microfiber head attachment, and then I use the wet mop attachment with the soap water spray. I use the soap water spray on my tile floor because using my vinegar water spray would break down the grout. So this is something I have learned in the process of having this channel with everybody's super helpful comments. So if you do have helpful cleaning tips, always leave them in the comments. I read them and I always take them into account and pass them along. So I'm just giving the floor a really good clean. It's nice to be able to get behind the tub since I couldn't do that when I was pregnant and give it a good wash. It is actually pretty dirty back there because when we have baths, my kids have baths in there they splash all kinds of soapy stuff so there's lots of residue back there so I'm just going in and finishing mopping up in my toilet room I washed the floor a bit when I was back there doing the toilet and then I'm gonna lay out my bath mats which are clean now and I am all finished this bathroom for this round and I had to take my tutu off because it just kept falling out in my kids bathroom I'm just tidying up a little remember you do not have to have a perfectly tidy house to start your zone cleaning just do it in the 15 minutes it's not a big deal and then I'm starting with my baseboards and my trim I use my soapy water and just a plain cloth and I just go over all of the baseboards and trim and the tops of the doors they get really dusty and I also do the door handles and the light switches at this time so you can see I'm just doing all the doors all of our bathrooms have a separate toilet room I don't know if that's a European thing or something, but we decided to do that and we love it, but it does mean for more trim and more doors. So I'm just finishing up doing all the dusting. You would be surprised what collects on just the side of your door, so give those a really good wipe down as well. When I do my vanities, I like to clean the outside of them first because I find the insides are always dirtier so it keeps the cloth cleaner. And I'm just doing a quick declutter as I clean them out. So just throw out any empty bottles or any extra garbage that's in there or maybe there's things that don't belong in there and need to be moved to a different room. So moving on to the second vanity, this one's a little worse because this is the one they brush their teeth on. That's our pajama drawer where we keep all of our pajamas. You can see I don't fold them. My kids just pick out whichever ones they want and it's the easiest way to keep them for me. In here was quite dirty. This is where their toothbrushes and toothpaste and I can't imagine what it's like once they start having makeup but they'll be cleaning their own bathroom by then so not my problem. For now there were extra little toys in there and quite a bit of garbage so I just threw it out, put the toys in their room and gave the vanity a really good wipe out. It looks way better now. The last thing I felt like I had time for was just to give that window a quick wipe and the tub will have to wait, the shower will have to wait, and I'll mop and vacuum the floors next time. So I just finished my zone 3 cleaning and you'll see I didn't quite finish my kids room, but I'm finished. And you might be thinking, but hey, there's still quite a few empty check boxes on that list. You didn't finish, but yes, I did. Because at the beginning of the week we said we were going to do four days 15 minutes in that zone every day and then we're done. So I set out to do what I was gonna do. So next time I come around to zone three, so whether you're doing it by month like the fly lady or maybe you go around in a circle, you do whatever you want. Next time you get to zone three, keep these check marks on here and then I'll just start exactly where I left off. And that way everything's getting done at least once a month or at the very least usually every other month or even every three months. It's deep cleaning 
And if you've struggled with deep cleaning in the past, chances are some of these things haven't been cleaned, you know, in six months or a year or ever, like in my case with a few things. So don't worry about getting everything done. That's not the point. The point is getting into the habit of doing a little bit every day. So I hope you were able to have success with zone three. Even if you just got one room finished, that's awesome. You got something done and that is something to be celebrated. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and spend time with the people that are already in your house because that's pretty much what all of us are doing right now. I will talk to you very soon. Tuesday, we will start in zone four. Bye.